at the feet of Jesus to hear, to receive what Jesus had for her own growth in life. Today, our hearts are ready, opened like the heart of Mary, that we may receive from you. Thank you for every brother and every sister you have gathered. We are here for more. Sit, wait, O oh God that this night we don't leave the way we came. Let us go with the word. Let us go with the, with the voice of the Spirit, even speaking unto us. We thank you for the grace of the teaching and the understanding of your word. Minister to us through your Spirit and through your power. We love you. We acknowledge you and give thanks to you for what you will do even this night. Be thou glorified, O Jesus, in this place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So today, I want to share something actually which is a part of a whole. So there is a, a, a whole of this message that we shall be, or maybe I will be teaching it in the main service, uh, in the due course, but uh, the Lord ministered so much throughout this day uh, about seeking God and uh, seek us in the kingdom of God. And uh, we will see some different people and uh, different seekers. Whenever you see people, you will see different seekers and will see various people who came seeking for Jesus, seeking for things in the kingdom and uh, it will be helping us to understand what kind of seekers we have in the kingdom of God. But this evening, I want to share uh, a part of that message and I want to talk about seeking for more than bread. Seeking for more than bread. Seeking God for more than bread. So we actually now understand that uh, <clears throat> uh, there is something that we need to know in the kingdom of God. Let us introduce by saying, in God's kingdom, there are different kinds of seekers. In God's kingdom, there are different kinds of seekers. Another thing that we need to know, that seekers in the kingdom of God, they come with different reasons. They come with different reasons in the kingdom of God. So, when you interact with people, when you see people in the church, don't think that they are seeking what you are seeking. That they are following or they are pursuing what you are pursuing. Some may be using more energy. Some may be using more resources. And even longer time. But never mistake that everybody is here seeking for the kingdom of God. And uh, that will be some of the things that I will be teaching in the due course as I have said. But today I want to deal with this about seeking God for more than bread. There is more in the kingdom of God than just bread. The book of John chapter number 6 verse 22. John chapter number 6 verse 22. The Bible says, on the following day, we must be using the New King James Version. On the following day, when the people who were standing on the other side of the sea, they saw that there was no other boat there, 
except that one which his disciples had entered and that Jesus had not entered the boat with his disciples but his disciples had gone away alone however other boats came from Tiberias near the place where they ate bread after the Lord had given thanks when the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there nor his disciples they also got into boats and they came to Capernaum seeking Jesus they were seeking Jesus so this is a journey that they took it had actually to go across the sea of Tiberias and they had to incur some cost. They had to pay money to get to the other side and the sole reason was not for them to do business. They went seeking for Jesus. What a wonderful team. What a wonderful group of people that people can pay money, that people can come from far and wide and they say, oh, we have come to seek Jesus. And Jesus would think and Jesus would say, wow, I have some people now that they can actually leave everything else, leave their families, leave the comfort of their homes, pay a lot of money to just look for a man. But it is very important that we go beyond this point. We go beyond the, the what they had done, the expenses they had incurred, and we look at the reason why they had to go all that journey. Why they had to cover that distance and seek the Lord. Verse 25. And when they found him, because if you seek him, you shall find him. One thing I can tell you, the Bible says, those that diligently seek the Lord, they shall find him. If you are a seeker of God, if you determine, I want to seek, I want to see Jesus. I am coming for Akesha alone. I want to experience him. I want to see Jesus. The Bible says, they came and they found Jesus. May you find Jesus even as you seek tonight. Yes, even after you go out of this place, you can go saying, after seeking him, after praying and fasting, after walking in holiness, I have seen the Lord. May that be your testimony in life. And they found him on the other side of the sea. Then they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? When did you come? We left you on the other side. We had gone where you were previously. We never thought that you would make it that fast. When did you come? Look at the next verse. Jesus answered them and said, Most assuredly, I say to you, only Jesus can know our reason for seeking him. Jesus knows whenever he sees you determined, committed, Yes, you also know the reason, but Jesus also knows. Who others may not know. When they were on the boat, when they were paying fare, others would not understand why. But Jesus knows why you are here. Why you are seeking. Why you are praying. Why you are serving. And it is very important at times that we allow Jesus to reveal the true things about our lives. Amen. 
it is very important that occasionally the Lord's word will be spoken to you and it will expose your heart. It will reveal who you are. It will reveal what you pursue. And it is at that time that we get to realize. Sometimes we may ignore. Sometimes we may not be aware. Or sometimes we may be actually denying or camouflaging hibernating, hiding our true colors as to why we are seeking. But whenever we come to Jesus, he is going to set the record straight. Amen. Na ndiyo maana wakati mwingine huwa tunakuja katika ibada na tunashindwa. Kwani pastor alikuwa anajua moyo wangu? Kwani pastor anasoma akili ya mtu sio kusoma hapana ni Mungu ambaye anatujua na wakati mwingine anatujidhihirishia he introduces he reveals he manifests what others may not see what others may not know and even what you may not actually be aware of Jesus told them in fact, he did not allow them to continue. He told them, most assuredly, I say to you, looking unto them, I say to you, you seek me. Yes, you are seekers. People can talk about seekers and you are seeking me. And thank that you are seeking me. Look at this. You seek me not because you saw the signs. But because you ate of the loaves and you were filled. The reason, now I want to tell you, people may not know, but I am telling you the truth. This you must get. I thank God for Jesus who can tell people the truth. And who can, I, I wish we can reach a level and we tell people, this gentleman, you were seeking the Lord. You were being committed to the Lord because of this and that and the other. Not because of the kingdom purposes. But you wait. But before, even if somebody does not tell us, look at the next thing that Jesus told them. Wow. He told them the right way. Because let me tell you, even as we seek the Lord, there is the right way to seek him and there are the right reasons why we should be seeking him. There should always be our understanding. There is a right way for, to seek the Lord. And number two, there are right reasons for seeking the Lord. So Jesus now, he never cast them out. He never told them, I don't have anything to do with you. No. But he, he, he molded, he shaped, he tried to, to bring them to the right way, the right reasons. Your reasons are wrong. Your actions are right. But your reasons are wrong. What you have done is right. But why you are doing it is wrong. Amen. Yeah, somebody may be doing the right thing. But moved by the wrong reasons. Because seeking God is right. Serving God is right. Being committed is right. Sacrificing is good, is right. Is commendable. So we may do a lot of things and we do them right, but we may be doing them for the wrong reasons. And let me tell you when an action is right and the motive or the reason <clears throat> of doing it is wrong, you will never experience divine breakthroughs. When an action is right, what you do is right, but why you do it is wrong, you will never experience a godly 
breakthrough. Please know that. Your action may be right, but men judge by what they see. By what you have done. By the ministry you have discharged. By the songs you have sung. By the way you have led. By the message you have preached. The action is good. It is commendable. And that is why Jesus is commending the action. But the reason is wrong. And that is why God cares even more of why we do what we do than just what we are doing. That is why Jesus, the good thing about Jesus, the Bible says, no one shall come unto me and I cast him out. So Jesus did not send them away. Jesus did not actually Tell them I have no business with you. No. What he did, he commended them for their action of coming all the way. I don't know whether you are understanding this. Coming all the way from that place. Paying or sacrificing. Taking their time up to this end. And they will still even pay more money as they go back. They will have to pay the boats. So it is not for free. So these are people who sacrifice. But Jesus when he saw this. He said. Commitment is good. But intention must also be good. Your commitment. Yeah, being committed is good. But the intention. Must also be right. Don't just be committed. But there are things we don't see. As men, we will judge by what you have done. By the way you have been giving yourself. By the way you have been sacrificing for the Lord. For the work of the ministry. The way you have been uh, committed in one way or the other. But the intention, is it a kingdom intention or is it a personal intention? Therefore, Jesus told them, come I teach you the better way. I can tell you there is the better way. Even when you are serving, when you are desiring to be used by God, when you are desiring to be more for God, to do more for God. To go more for God. There is a better way. And therefore Jesus counseled them and told them, Do not labor for the food which perishes. Do not labor for the food that perishes. But labor for the food which endures to everlasting life which the Son of Man will give you because God the Father has set his seal on him. Jesus was telling them, you just eat now, tomorrow or after a few hours, you'll be in need again. Then will you be coming to me? Will you use, be using all this strength for such a thing that is so transient? Will you be using all this strength for such a thing that is so temporary? Do, shouldn't you seek God for more than just bread? Praise the Lord. And that is why I'm saying this evening we're sharing about seeking God for more than bread. I want to say that when people seek God for bread, they seek God for personal benefit, not for kingdom purposes. Seeking God for bread, it is seeking the kingdom or seeking God for personal benefit, not for kingdom 
purposes or for kingdom advancement ni kumtafuta bwana kwa sababu ya faida zako mwenyewe yani kila juhudi zako kila jitihada unazoziweka kujitolea kwako ina i, i, inategemea ama i, i, inapimwa na vile nitakavyo faidika mimi kwa hivyo siko katika ufalme siko katika uf, mbele ya Kristo sababu nataka kumwabudu i'm not here to recognize his greatness i'm not here to worship i'm not here to grow the kingdom i'm not here because i'm hungry for the word of god i'm not here because i want to be a great believer and to do more for god i am here because of what i can get i'm here for personal benefit when people seek the kingdom and i'm telling you there are people in the church there are people you will interact with them but you may not know them in the beginning you will not understand them because their commitment will no their their motive will be hidden in their commitment What I'm saying is it takes time for one to realize for one to recognize the people you have in the church as a pastor you can know but it will take you time sometimes you see people and you say wow at least i have people here i i i think we can work with them i think these ones can be prepared for ministry I think this ones should be deployed should be given work in the church they should be in the praise and worship team they should be in ushering they should be in various departments and they should be entrusted with work why they are so committed but don't mistake them until you dig deeper amen man how are watu by the way walikuja na wakakaa kwa ibada wakamgojea mpaka Kristo alipomaliza kuhubiri wako pale and you, when you see them seated when you see them doing worshiping when we are worshiping and you you hear where they have come from you will say i thank god that i have people who can pay such a price don't you think it's a good thing Amen. Don't you think as a pastor somebody who can be paying all that money doing all that and they are there but I pray may God give you the spirit of discernment so that you can be able to know them because it you will not know them immediately you will know them as time goes by and you will begin to wonder why why is it that you don't care about the things of the kingdom why is it that you must be pushed about the things of the kingdom why is it that for you you have no burden for worship for growth for serving the lord but we see you but you want, you you don't want to advance the kingdom but you will get to know them by and by slowly by slowly you know for you young people you are in a great danger because these people will come they will appear as kingdom seekers but they are here for personal benefit they may propose you for marriage they are in they are in the church these people are in the church and you may find them and you may be seeing how much committed they are but if you just gauge the commitment you'll be lost you need to take time praise the lord as a pastor you will be mistaken when you raise them very fast 
when you see them and you want to lift them, give them positions, leadership, but you will, you, they will get there. Let me say this, number two. These people, they use the kingdom for personal gain. They use, they are here, and they use the kingdom. They are not kingdom builders. They are not here to build the kingdom. They are here to use the kingdom. They take advantage of the kingdom. You ask, you demand commitment at a higher level. Because the Bible now here says, Jesus continued teaching. <clears throat> and uh, when he demanded more commitment, they began to leave. Waka left one by one. He began lefting. Because there is a level. Because we must be able to see, to see where people are. And don't rush. My prayer is that I'm a pastor. This is wisdom that I've gotten. These are things that I have come to know. When you see people in the church, give them time. Watch them. Test them. Timothy was told. And this time Timothy is very young. He's getting into the ministry. He doesn't know many things about dynamics of ministry. Paul is a seasoned pastor. Paul is an old man. Has pastored churches. Has begun churches. Pastored them. Seen all manner of men. And when he is saying to a young man. Take time. And do not be in haste. Then it is worth to be listened to. Because here we see people who can come. Take time. My prayer, my call for you young people, take time. Take time. Get to know a person. Get to know who they are. Get to test them and see. And you, the true colors we always appear. Because the Bible says, when Jesus demanded, he raised the bar. They could not raise the bar with him. They could not go higher with Jesus. Why? Because <clears throat> their intention, their motive is to use the kingdom. But Jesus tells them, no, he who has to come after me, don't labor for the food that perishes, but labor for the food that which leads to everlasting life. And my body is food indeed. He, he who will not eat of me has no part in me. And the Bible says, from that day, many, even who were his disciples, they stopped following him and they went back. And I can tell you, there will always come a time and the people who are here for bread there will come a time and they will begin going one by one. You'll see them. I've been in the church. I've seen people. They begin to go one by one. They, let me tell you, they will leave the ministry. They will forget the commitment. They will forget they were serving God. They will forget that they should be useful in the kingdom. These people are not useful. They are users. Even when you see them, don't think that you can use them. They are not here to be used. They are here to use you. To use your pulpit. To use your altar. To use the numbers. To use the church. And when they make use of you, they make use of the church. They will be gone. When you deny them, 
the opportunity to use you. They will go. And they will go saying, that man. And you will hear all kinds of stories. Brethren, these are things that I'm coming to understand when you are dealing with the people. This was right in the ministry of Jesus. Jesu Arenado Mahala Seeking that you may mistake them. What kind of a seeker are you? Are you someone we can use? Or are you here to use us? Are you, are you ready that you, we can use you? You can sacrifice for us. Or are you here to waylay us? Nego tuo hiya o tuo heti. Tamu tu nyani. Oga tuwe kake odo. Oga yaka kani dake odo. And then you will go. Brethren, I want to tell you. I've dealt with people. And I've been cheated. I've been cheated in the ministry. I've given myself to people who had no business with me and with the church. I've given my money. I've supported people. I've encouraged people. I've spent time with people trying to lift them, trying to encourage them, trying to pray for them, to challenge them to be more walking with them, following them even when they are far. But I have come to realize that they are characters in the church who are not here for your reasons, who are not here for the reasons of the kingdom, but they are here for personal gain. And there are people who are like that. Hallelujah. And for us, let us know we should seek the Lord for more than just bread. There are people who become pastors who just want to have churches. But these ones, they will say great things to you. They will teach mighty things. They will become great. They will appear to be committed to you like these brethren who were seeking Jesus. They will appear like they have a heart, but every action is calculated. Every action, every step is calculated that in the end, everything will divert to me and to benefit me. I want to tell you, beware of people Beware of men of God. Every phone call, every lifting, they will pamper you. They will tell you how mighty you are. They will remind you how they have prayed for you. They will remind you that you owe them their lives so that you can become a prisoner of these people. But everything they are doing, it is so measured, it is so calculated that in the end, the equation must have an answer. And the answer should not be for you. should be for them. And it is not a minus. should be an addition to them. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, these people, they are not interested in the growth of the kingdom of God. And me say, these are people who are not interested in the growth and in the advancement of the kingdom of God. They are never, they don't have a burden. They may even pray with you. They may even cash out with you. They may even come closer to you. But I am wondering how it would be challenging for us to discern and to know them. Because Jesus at least outrightly knew you are not seeking me for anything else. 
but this in the church. What kind of a seeker are you? This is our month of seeking for more. And I want to ask, are you here for bread? Are you here for a miracle somewhere? Are you here for a breakthrough so that you can get that, so that you can get a job and immediately you get it will never locate you, will, will lose you. Let me tell you, these people who seek for the bread, ultimately they will be lost. You will lose them in the church. You will lose them in the kingdom. Ultimately you will not know where they went. Are you here for seeking the bread? Are you here? Are we giving you? Are we believing in you but you know? You are not interested with growing the church. You are not interested with advancing the cause of Christ. There is a key word. They, they, they don't have a burden. They don't share your burden. They, they don't share your burden. They don't feel what you feel. They see, they have watched you, they see your heart, but they never identify with you. A time will come and they will just go and leave you. Bible you get now at magitigana na jesu magitiga kumuru mirira. Mamu tigire gitaka. And they never cared. Magi vie na makiwani to imera. The twa vie. Aya nea do magi gotiga dagi ka oyo ve. And you must know that. These are brothers that can leave you as a young girl. And they don't mind. They don't mind how broken your heart is. If they don't get what they want, they will go. And even if they get they will keep no they will remain with you as long as they can be getting from you hey praise the lord are you understanding that these people they will remain with you as long as you can keep on releasing more and more tomorrow they don't have it they will forget yesterday what you did for them and they will go uguo group we no eshe you maga mwathani thutha ni undu wa mugate maturaga oriria riothe mararia uthamaki oriria riothe in the yahia the as long as the kingdom is releasing oriria riothe mara take advantage ya kanitha and that is why they will leave you one day and they will say, I go to another church. And then they will look for signs there. What can I do? How can I benefit? Who can I use? What? And immediately they realize there, the, the road is closed and they cannot have their way. They will keep on moving. They will keep on moving. They will keep on moving. Brethren, I'm teaching you about some characters we have. If you are a young person, they will take advantage of you and they will be with you as long as they can eat from you. As long as they can get. So you will always be the loser in this. They will never lose. They will never lose. In a relationship, they will never lose. They have somebody else. When you don't comply with their demands and their desires, they will go. And they will always have someone in standby. Dramu teithia duangai. Nigeitha mudu wa menye. Characters taishio. They came seeking for Jesus. These are seekers in the kingdom. These are. Don't mistake them. You'll see them in the church. You'll see them around. You'll see them preaching. But they want 
an opportunity. They are here for gain. They will never, they will never grow you. Mudhenyo olioka meta. Umere now, I'm demanding. This work cannot remain in the same level for forever. I'm demanding for us to leave this level to another level. We must do what we have not been doing. And when you demand that, they go. And they will always look for a simpler way, a way where they say they, they just want to be themselves, do what they want, get what they want, and life continues. But I want to tell you, akoroi dhue, nakoroi nyue mwehaha, oma oma, if this kingdom will continue, if the kingdom of God will advance, you must seek God for more than just bread. You must seek God for more. You must wake up for more than just the blessing. You must be here at night for more than just a job. For more than just a husband, a wife to marry you. For more than just money. Then when you are not here to be blessed, you are here to be a blessing to advance the kingdom of God. When you take that, when you understand these things, you will be in the kingdom. And you know, I'm in the kingdom not to gain. I'm in the church not to gain. No ni kuri mioyo irafatara kuhonoka. Wadhani ya rogosho. Ni kuri ministry irafatara kuhoero. There are things that need to be done. Who will do them? If you only come here to look. Ah, wow. Can't you perform a miracle for us? Brethren, as we go tonight, because my time is up, as I release you right now, I want to ask, why are you, are you here? Why are you seeking the Lord? Are you like these people? You can come, but it is the bread. After you get it, you don't know why Christ came. You don't know there are souls to be won. There is a ministry that needs to be established. You will never Give towards the ministry. You will come, we pray for your blessings, but we will never see your tithe. We will never see you serving anywhere. We will never see you manifest and say, I am here to build the kingdom. But you will always be here for what you want. Brethren, my challenge is, in our month of going for more, go for more than just the bread. Go for more than just the blessing and the breakthrough that you want. The Lord bless you. Let's stand on our feet. Just as we stand on our feet, want us to make a prayer before God. Father, help me to go for more than just the blessings and the needs of my life. Oya moko maku na igoro. Help me to mafataro makwa. To irathi moiria derenda. To breakthrough isiria jetereire. Help me. I want to go for more. I want to seek 